Hi, my name is Svenja. I'm 28 years old and I just finished my second year of the PhD. Before that, I studied molecular biotechnology in Heidelberg, both the bachelor program and the master program. Then I finished my studies with a master thesis in the activation mechanism of focal adhesion kinase here at the Institute at HITS in the group of Frauke Greta, where I'm now also doing my PhD. So during my master uh, studies, um, since I tried so many different aspects, I completely changed where I wanted to go with my career from medical research to basic research and computer science. I'm really happy with where I ended up. And so I can only um, encourage anyone who's given the opportunity to try something different to do it because you never know where you will end up. My research project deals with mechanical influences in stem cell differentiation. And it is well known that stem cells are influenced by forces. For example, they adapt the stiffness to their environment. However, it is not yet understood how exactly this is achieved. And of course, cells, in order to change their behavior, need a biochemical signal. So the mechanical signal needs to be converted into a biochemical signal. There are two um, options that you could think of how force-induced behavioral changes of the cells could be achieved. One is that force induces conformational changes in proteins. They then lead to different accessibilities of binding partners. This could start a signaling cascade. But of course, signaling proteins could also be directly activated by forces. And there are two uh, requirements for this. One is that the protein is, of course, stable under force and then even gets activated by it. And it needs to feel the force that is acting on the cell. Force is acting usually on the points where cells bind to their environments, for example, focal adhesions where cells bind um, to the extracellular matrix and the protein needs to be bound to the cellular matrix and it also needs to be bound to the cell cytoskeleton. One protein that I'm really interested in where we think all these prerequisites are met is Abel kinase. So the cluster benefits me of course scientifically. Right now we are setting up a collaboration with a group of Jochen Wittbrot where we are trying to follow the activation of the kinases which I'm simulating in live cells or even in the organoids that the Wittbrot lab is um, yeah, culturing. And also the mentoring committee was really helpful because um, an important aspect of my research was um, yeah, questioned. It was really important for me to think of this aspect and then I also did simulations to answer uh, still open questions. Due to the funding of the Carl Zeiss Foundation, the position that was offered to me by Frauke Greta was even made possible. When she offered the project to me, I felt like it was tailor-made for me because it had the molecular dynamic simulations but I, which I wanted to continue. But due to the cluster, I still had a lot of connection to experimentalists. So I'm not finally decided but I see myself um, somewhere in industry um, and data science. But yeah, I'm not finally decided because um, I also like basic research, which of course you cannot find in industry. And I also like the supervision of students, which I already supervised two master students during my PhD. And yeah, I don't know if I want to give up on that. <laughs>